welcome to Autzen Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks and the House of Loud, a place where great teams go to die. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. Kickoff team out there set to move it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So Oregon's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he comes just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rate of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find a way to try to slow this guy. And he's going to touch it every single play. He'll be the main focal point. Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle the big moments? Can he handle the stage and lead his team in a big moment? That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Grab behind the line, it's Stewart. Tackled at the 29, let's give him five on that one. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a ready. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. The give to the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Caught near the sticks. It's James. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. Ooh, that's a nice throw. Great accuracy there. And you, know, you think about Oregon quarterbacks. I know we think about guys running around a little bit. But think back to guys like Dan Fouts, A.J. Feely. How about that? Joey Harrington, of course, Justin Herbert. These guys could thread the needle from the pocket, make all the throws. This guy here reminds me a little bit of them. From the gun, give on the inside. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the middle, it's Ferguson. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. We love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matter with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You gotta wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Trying the left side. He breaks a tackle. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Man, oh man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have any. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. But sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And it's caught! Touchdown, Ducks! And after that touchdown, you can barely hear yourself think. Autzen Stadium, one of the most special places in all of college football, and easily one of the loudest stadiums, is now going off. We've all called games here before. We love coming to Eugene. This place is magic, and it's because of these fans. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. So the Oregon Ducks offense will get the ball for the first time. A big challenge for both of these quarterbacks, Jesse, is dealing with a ball-hawking free safety on the other side. Well, you're right, Reese. QBs better be good with their eyes. Better not stare down wide receivers in this one, because if you float the ball down the middle of the field, that's getting picked. And these guys are going to be right in the middle of the field, flying all over the field, and quarterbacks will make sure that they are locked in and not throwing the ball near those guys. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. The give to the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's Bowers. Quick strike complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. I love the start for this quarterback on third down. Third down, obviously money down, got to have success. But to have success early, now it opens up everything. Like, we trust him, he's got a rhythm going, he's feeling good, and he got a lot of confidence. They've got it at the 37, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. This offense has a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Bell. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Now on offense, you're trying to get your running back involved here in the passing game, and obviously no success on that play. Defense seemed like they were aware of it, and all of a sudden you set yourself up in a tough position here on third. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Time to 
time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. They bring the punter onto the field now. Running it back, it's Johnson. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. The option look. Now the toss. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Let's see what they've got on second down. Try and play action. Plenty of times he fires it to the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. The Ducks want to move quickly. The give to the tailback. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. And they'll ride him down, but not before he picked up the first down. And how about the timing on that pitch? And the Ducks are flying down the field. He'll ride his man on the option. Now the toss. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. Lost yardage leaves them looking at second and 14. Keep it on the ground. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picks up six yards down to the 10. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Makes the grab. Oh, and he thought he might be able to wiggle his way into the end zone, but they knock him down at the three. Right there, I think you need a better play call. you got to help your quarterback out a little bit because the throw has got to at least make it to the sticks. On that last play, you're basically trusting the guy to make a few dudes miss in order to go pick up that first down. I think you need to start being a bit more aggressive here when these third downs present themselves. Absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll start the return inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The give on the inside. A little more space opened up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. On the option, it's Bauer. And they snuffed out that play from the start. He probably should have given the ball to the back. How about the defensive end understanding football, understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it, hold it, hold it, open, open. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. They'll line up for a second down play. On the option. Quick toss. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Bowers. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Gets it out fast. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's holding. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offense. The Ducks have it with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback gets past the marker. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. The Ducks have it in scoring position on first and goal. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. Trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oregon. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed. Make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Going with the little spread look. Taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown.
On to attempt the try. The kicker on for the extra point. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. They got the lead touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. To the air, it's Bowers. All kinds of time before he fires right. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Eugene as we say hello from our broadcast studios. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Autzen Stadium. We'll kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. They keep it on the ground to open the third. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line, pick up a four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They want to run it left here. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. They'll run it from the gun. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Trying to surprise him with the pass. He's got an open man. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. On the option, he'll toss it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. 
And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They'll run the option. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Got some work to do after that last play, second and 13. Scanning the field, it's Bauer. He's got his man, and he'll be brought down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Wants to throw on third. Gets open down the middle. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback keeper. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. QBs that can run completely change your game plan. I mean, every single bit of it. You have to understand, now as a pass rusher, I got to keep him in the pocket. I got to understand all the zone read concepts and the power read and the jet read, all the different things they can do to you. So, you know, having a guy back there at the helm uh, that can run the football, you better be alert of it from the first play to the end of the fourth quarter. It's complete to the left. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Well, they're able to complete the hitch throw against man coverage, and hey, quarterback's got to be able to get it to him quickly because he knows that defender is going to be driving on the ball. So really nice job, not hesitating, getting it to him, and then he gets what he can get after the catch. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And on offense, you know this is four-down territory. You have to come away with a touchdown. You're getting boat raced in this game right now, and you're going to have to make this possession count. Yeah, definitely because of the slow start now putting yourself behind the eight ball, I think this offense is going to have to be aggressive the rest of the game. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Just drives it between the uprights. A penalty marker is down. If this Personal is on foul. the defense, the offense is going to have a choice to make. Do you dare take the points off the board and go for the touchdown? It is so hard to stop a drive when you force a field goal. Force the field goal. Don't give them another first down. Bowles his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? 
But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Zings it complete to the right. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. You always have to be aware of the running threat from the Oregon quarterbacks, but here getting business done through the air. No doubt, Reese, because you're worried about his legs, the read game, all the stuff they can do. It opens up the passing attack, and I think when you've seen the Ducks teams throughout history, the ones that have enough balance to keep you off guard, keep you guessing, are the ones that... Ball's out! Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. Wide open downfield. They make the tackle, but not before he finishes off this third period with a big play. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. The give to the back. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Ball's at the 13. Second down. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to throw, it's Bowers. It's complete on the right side. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Yeah, throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. He makes a grab. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished. This offense obviously still has work to do, and the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. unit on the field. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Whittington. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And the completion to the sideline. A solid pickup, but not enough for the first half. 
And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside. And the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other direction. He'll try the left side. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. How about the job by this defense? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Trying to get the corner. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard game to the 31. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Finds a tight end. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. No, and that's disappointing for the head coach because you drill these two-minute, four-minute type situations late in games. You've got to have awareness and understand what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to bleed the clock, and you can't do that if you're running out of bounds. The Ducks are rolling down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After the misfire, it's second down. Looking for space, it's James. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense doing their job getting that last stop. And now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this. So defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch inside the 30 and still running. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Ducks! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing the go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They go 83 yards on the drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top going 63 yards to the house. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to pass, it's Bowers. Got his man quickly. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages, keep the ball in front of you, and tackle the ball carrier in bounds. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. 
They'll try to get the first through the air. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. Wants to throw on first down. He's taking the shot. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now back-to-back. -back. They're putting pressure on this defense. They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. Line gets set, first down. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Second down coming up. It's a draw. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eighth. is still running and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking to throw, it's Bowers. Throws to the wideout. Got his man. Hit the afterburners, kid. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down. Hey, you know, the defense here in this situation with a huge lead, they've got to anticipate that this offense is going to be trying to throw the ball to the sideline, so they've got to work different coverages to try to force the quarterback to go over the middle of the field with the football. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. They want to just keep throwing it. Into the end zone for a touchdown. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pulls them to within three, 24-21. They got the touchdown they needed. Now trailing by a field goal, they'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. 
Now we've got a little game pressure, and we'll see how the offense responds in a three-point game, Jesse. I can't wait to see this quarterback and how he's going to be able to handle that pressure, David. How will he respond in this situation? And just knowing, listen, I'm only up by three now. If I can make this a two-score game, I can almost put this away in the fourth quarter. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll run if they want to take their time here. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Now facing a third and long. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They're bringing heat. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. The Ducks will call Number on their punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense, and all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. To the air, it's Bowers. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Where's the defense on that last play? It's a two-minute situation. You've got the guy making the catch in the middle of the field. You've got to tackle him in bounds and keep this clock moving. Somehow they were able to let him get outside and stop the clock. That just can't happen. Trying to find his man on first down. Coming after him. Chunked it away just as he was hit. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, this quarterback's already taken a couple shots from the pocket, and there's another one right there that affected his accuracy on that throw. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Looking to throw on second down. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I gotta have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practice this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. We need to go for it fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. They're trying to get to it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. They make the stop, but that's going to do it here as time has expired, and that'll just serve to pad the stats.